Hey guys. So you want to know what you and your twin flame are both feeling during separation. So I'm going to give you the quick and dirty answer at the beginning here. I'll just get right to the point what both people are feeling. And then during the rest of the video, I'll go more in depth about why it is like that. And I'm not going to tell you anything at the front here that you didn't already know. So what you're feeling is like, you know, like, why is this happening to me? You've experienced breakups with other people before, but not like this. Like you are suffering to the max and there's this sense of meaninglessness in your life and you're crying and bawling and panicked and you're looking everywhere for answers and you're trying desperately to figure out what to do. It's like you'll do anything to make the pain stop, right? So that's what you're going through. Uh, and that can change. It can vary by degree. You know, some people, um, the, the suffering is always extreme at the beginning and then over time you start to feel better and so you could be you know starting to feel better and maybe not quite suffering as much but that's there that's going on for you and then for them for your twin flame what do they feel well i'm not going to tell you anything you don't already know everybody watching already knows that your twin flame doesn't seem to be feeling much at all and and, and again that can vary right so they can to one extreme, all the way up to and including like blocking you, right? And then at the other extreme, it's like they come in and out of your life and they seem to want to talk to you. And then you start talking to them again and thinking everything maybe is going to be all right, maybe. And, and, then, and then they pull away again. They resist you. They reject you. They're not talking to you. They don't answer your texts, right? And it seems like they're not really feeling anything about you. And yeah, I, I guess it's, you know, seeing is believing. It does seem that way. That's really what they're feeling is nothing. Now, why is that? And how can I fix that? Is there something I can do to get them to feel something for me? Because that's really what you want to know. Like, we already know what your twin flame is doing, right? I'm not saying anything that you didn't already know. They're not feeling anything <laughs> or they just come in and out through these weird cycles. But is there something I can do to get them to feel something? Is there like, when are they going to change? Are there some signs that I can follow? What can I do, right? Like, are they going to start feeling something for me? That's really what you want to know, right? So, yes, it is true they're not feeling anything for you right now during separation, but that's the whole key, guys. This is how you can get your twin flame to literally unblock you, right? I had my twin flame blocked for a while because I just, I just needed to get out of her energy. It was too much. I got out of bed one day and I looked at myself and I was like, what are you doing? This is crazy. You've never acted anything like this over anything, let alone a breakup for six months, losing your mind, right? It's ridiculous. And I finally said, I'm just going to block her so that I can recover. And I went into like a deep meditative state. I made a lifestyle out of meditation. Okay. And I had some very deep spiritual experiences, very deep Zen. They call it Satori. And the more that I had those experiences, she actually tracked me down and just sent me some flowers. She like tracked me down where I worked to send me some flowers, right? Students of mine, they have similar experiences or like they run into their twin flame around town when they start to have these deeper spiritual experiences. You literally run into them around town, right? I've, I've coached over 3000 students myself personally and, and you know my twin flame is permanently in my life and the feedback that I get from them is yeah like you'll run into them around town and stuff now why is that happening what are they doing to cause your twin flame to chase you to to stop not feeling anything for you how do I do that and it's simple guys there is no separation actually it's it's a belief it's a mental construct, okay? You are 
body, mind, soul. And everybody knows that you and your twin flame are the same soul, right? Well, here's the thing. These three things work differently. Okay? The soul, which is what you really are, is consciousness. It's being. And that's your twin flame. It's the observer. It's the inner awareness. That's the soul. You have a body and you have a mind, but you are the soul. The mind is thought. And you're polarized with this person when you believe you are your mind. Ego, personality, everybody does it. Everybody on earth believes that they are this personality. That's where they derive their sense of self from. Okay, and that's what views the other person as separate. And so the mind actually, it, it's like it's trying to acquire the other person. That's why you're going so crazy thinking about this person. Oh, I got to get them to be with me. What am I going to do about the other person, right? And that's the mind. And I'm not saying the mind is bad, but, but that's, what it, that's what is going on. That's what is happening is the mind believes there's an other person. But what I'm telling you is there's not. The soul, which is what you really are, not what you have, body, mind, body, mind is what you have. What you really are is your twin flame. You are the same exact soul essence, okay? So this is really just an identity crisis. When you believe you are your mind, ego, personality, you believe that it is you who is chasing this person. And the harder you chase, the harder you push, the harder they pull. And for those of you that aren't pushing as hard, for those of you that are starting to feel better, you're kind of getting out of that dark night of the soul energy, you may have noticed that your twin flame, they talk to you a little bit more, don't they? They, they maybe start this back and forth thing with you. And they still pull away, but then they come back, right? Now, the harder you chase, the harder you push, the harder they pull because you're polarized with this person at the level of the mind and it's because of what the mind is. The mind is duality and the mind is also your, the soul, you, the soul, consciousness, who you really are, what you really are. The soul and the mind, the mind is your ability to see outside things that appear to be separate from you, the observer, the soul. Listen to that carefully. The mind is your ability to see things that appear to be separate, separation, right? Separate from you. And so the mind sees this other person. The mind is externalized because it's duality. And this is like 10,000 year old ancient spiritual teaching, what I'm telling you. And it seems like I'm talking about twin flames, but I'm clear that I'm talking about the three-part triune being, body, mind, soul, and how that thing works. And it's the mind that believes this other person is an other person, is separate from you. Okay? And as long as you believe you are your mind, ego, personality, you're going to view this other person as separate from you. You've got to go in here, guys, to the soul, which is what you really are, not what you have. The mind is what you have. The soul is what you are. It's consciousness. And you become the observer of these patterns of the mind, these controlled responses, right? Right? It's this programming, it's these old tape recordings that keep playing over and over again about romance and people and good, bad, and, you know, it's their fault and all these things. And I'm not saying that's bad, but that's what's going on. But you need to become the observer of the mind, of thought, and be the observer, be the consciousness of the mind, ego, personality, when it starts to trip out about this person. Okay, and that's all you have to do. You don't have to do anything with the thought because any notion that I need to do something with the thought 
is a thought itself. It's another thought. It's a notion. It's you're thinking, the mind is thinking, I have to do something about these thoughts now too. And so you just observe that thought and you just become the best observer you can be, the best consciousness you can be. That's your soul and that's your twin flame. And you start to shift energetically. And after a while, they start chasing you. And it's because you've gone in here to where the soul is, which is what you really are, okay? And when you align with your soul energetically, guess who shows up? Yeah, exactly. Your twin flame, the other half of your soul. Okay? So there's nothing you need to do about this person. There's no separation. Separation is an illusion. It's a program of the mind. You are already not separate from your twin flame. You literally are them at the core level, which is the soul. So there you go, guys. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.